Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022-23 Topps Chrome UEFA Club Competition Soccer 12 box pick your team number 4 We're chasing uh, chasing stuff like that That'd be nice, a little Julian Alvarez a little Zinedine Zidane would be awesome It's a pick your team break There were the teams involved in the break and the 17 team combo features a bunch of teams right here. That's a that's a pretty solid value. So big thanks and good luck to Grant, who got those 17 teams and featuring those teams right there. Thanks everybody for getting this knocked out straight up. Tristan ended up with double last spot mode. He got Atletico Madrid and West Ham United. No filler, which is also nice. All right. And our final case of this club is kind of a little heavier. Our final case of this as well. It's, there's a good chance we might get some more of this in the future, but for now there is. We don't have any more that I can uh, that I can repost. Featuring those three club competitions. That's just conference league now. You can download that if you want to. MLB Network doing something. Is this the first time they're doing this? They're doing MLB Big Inning. Like they're bringing sort of a red zone style, style vibe. Oh no! That, that Giants ball guy took a took a tumble. Ball adult. Although he's kind of he's a little younger than. If anybody watches uh, San Francisco Giants games, they have uh, a lot of stadiums usually have like, I feel like, I, I don't know, the Dodger Stadium, uses, they have ball girls who are in the foul areas. And they're usually like college softball players or something like that. And that's like their summer job or whatever. Um... But in, uh, in San Francisco, they usually have, like, real old dudes out there. <laughs> a giant ball guy, yeah. I, I can't say he's not a ball boy. He's a ball adult. Ball grown-up. But they usually get, like, an old guy or an old lady, like a grandpa or grandma age. I think there's women out there, too. And they're the ones kind of manning that, uh, that foul area. For, uh, for hot shots that end up out there. But there was one on team where the guy took a little little tumble chasing after a ball. You can go you can go down a uh, pretty nice uh, a pretty fun rabbit hole. Of seeing those uh, those people out there, eighty-five out of two hundred and fifty, Desiree Due for Stadio Rene. That's going to go to Grant in that big seventeen-team combo. But you can go down a nice rabbit hole of seeing of seeing uh, those ball people out there, girls, boys, adults, making amazing plays and saving people's lives. It's Erlen Holland from Man City. That's going to be for Rob. And there's Darwin Nunez to 25 for my club, Liverpool. That'll be for Matthew. Your friend was a ball... Was he a boy or was he... A, was he a man? A ball man? <laughs> there's a Ilke Gundogan. These ones with the, the little seismic... 
See in the background, those are not numbered, by the way. So your friend was a ball boy during the Royals World Series year. He got a ring? They gave him a ring? Ball boys get rings? And he made bank? How much do those people get paid? For just sitting out there chasing after ground balls? Or fly balls that might kill people in the stands? Because they're staring at their phones? And our first autograph in our first box of tells is Hugo Akit Ike. Rookie auto for PSG, Aaron Billingsley with Paris Saint Germain. What? He made over $200,000 over two years plus tips being a ball boy? Wow. And a ring? For the world, I wonder. I wonder if sometimes they, sometimes staff get uh, smaller or different rings. I wonder if he got an actual player's ring or if it was just the ones like, because I think like broadcasters, like the radio and TV guys of the respective teams. Here's uh, to three ninety nine, Javi Simmons for Eindhoven. That's going to be for for Grant. Sometimes they they'll get rings, but smaller rings. Yeah, I mean, I guess for World Series, I mean, I guess we're playing a lot more playoff games and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay, his ring isn't as elaborate. I, th I thought for a second he might have gotten a player's ring, and I was like, that's still cool, though. Does he still have it? Or did he, did he sell it? I mean, it'd be hard to... Be hard to sell. I would. I mean, I'd be passing that down to future children. Who knows when the Royals will win a World Series again? You gotta have that ring as a as a as, mem as memory. Still has still works with them too. Is he the GM now? What does he do for the Royals? Promoted to locker room adult. Clubhouse guy. Like is he is he running out is he running around doing errands, doing chores for the big leaguers? It's like, hey, kid, I need I need some greenies for the ball game. You know? Hey kid, go get me go get me stand in line, go get me the new pair of Nikes that are coming out. Hey, take this note up to the stands. My cute girl in the in, in the stands. Hey, go go grab us some burgers. Who knows? Tyler, what's going on? No, we are we are not open tomorrow. The shop is closed, and no YouTube tomorrow night on Fourth of July. But there will be Instagram though. Teddy Jass, we volunteered to work on the holiday. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, the clubhouse guy is pretty in indispensable. In the old days, I think I I, I think it was, I think it was. Uh, you know, 70s and 80s, there's a lot of crazy stuff happening. I think these days it's a lot more professional for most locker rooms, but I'm sure there's still some sorted stuff happening. It's been to Alex Gordon's house, nice, and has driven some players' cars down to spring training. You gotta have someone to do that. There's a Fabio Carvalho, nice. 
for my club Liverpool is what well, now what is his status this year I think he's on loan although I kind of liked his game Yeah, he's on he's on a season long loan to Leipzig, but this goes to Liverpool, of course. That's his it's his club. That's what's on the card, and that's going to go to Matthew. Only twenty years old, Matt. So it's rookie auto. Maybe one to hold on to. Could be future midfielder for a future starting midfielder for Liverpool for years to come. That's the plan, anyway. There's Zhao Felix for Chelsea, not numbered, although it seems like it should be. There's Ansu Fati. Uh, Zhao Felix, I guess, didn't really. And here's Mudrick, rookie silver or rookie refractor for Chelsea. That will be for Jacob. Zhao Felix didn't really work out as. As well as the hobby would have hoped, I think. And Chelsea supporters. There's Eden Zeko. 50 out of 225. For Inter, Milan. And that will be for David B. And on the uh, the ri their rivals, AC Milan, so three ninety nine. Met each other in the Champions League finals. Final. We got two Golazzos. One of them is numbered. Pablo Torre, one fourteen out of one twenty five. Barcelona, John. Next box. <laughs> and Jack B reminding us that all, all Felix did during the last World Cup was dive every, every time someone took a breath on him. Breathe on him. He's he's gonna he's gotta end up somewhere. All right, I guess he was only on loan with on loan with Chelsea, I guess that's what it was. He's back at Atletico Madrid. Right, there you go, yeah. Apparently, Atletico's president, Enrique Cerezo, confirmed that Chelsea's new head coach, coach Mauricio Pochettino, that's right, Pochettino's back, did not want the club to sign Felix on a permanent deal following the expiration of his loan. And so, Jean Felix back to Atletico Madrid.
guess he's still only doesn't turn 24 until November. So he's still pretty young. And we got a Paul Winter autograph. Bayern Munich. That'll be for Danny. And rookie refractor Warren Zaire Emery for Barry Saint Germain. Saint Germain going to Aaron. The rookie refractor. And a nice Julian Alvarez rookie silver. Man City. Rob with Manchester City. Nice. We got Leonardo Bonucci, 161 at 399. Juventus, David. Erlen Holland for Rob in Man City. And then we've got a Bruno Iglesias, Real Madrid. We got Alvaro Sanz. 105 out of 225, or it could be, could be Alvaro Sanz. It's possible. Hear that in the background on MLB Never? I didn't catch what year it was, but I didn't catch what year it was. But apparently, there was like a a game of the Mets, maybe Mets Braves or something like that in Atlanta that went a ton of innings, and the game didn't end until four in the morning, and they still did on Fourth of July, and they still did a fireworks show. <laughs> People, people in the city thought they were under attack. Who won the Premier League? Manchester City did. Arsenal was leading. It seemed like Arsenal was going to win their first title in maybe 15 plus years or something like that. The last time that they won was with Arsene Wenger. But anyhow... Yeah, I think they were leading for a good chunk of the season and then they dropped some points here and there and they kept, uh, you know, they kept Manchester City in the hunt and they caught them and they won. Yeah, they beat Arsenal by five points in the table. I don't think Man United were ever really in the title conversation, nor were Newcastle, but they both ended up in Champions League play, which is uh, for New Newcastle United, I think it's been, been a while since they had Champions League. Liverpool finished fifth out of Champions League spots. Liverpool and Brighton will be in Europa League. So I don't know if Brighton's played 
European football in a little while. And Aston Villa qualifies for the Conference League playoff round. And West Ham, oh, and West Ham United actually qualifies for the Europa League group stage because they won the Conference League last this year, I think. That's why. Right, they did. They won the Conference League, which is actually kind of a huge achievement for West Ham United winning in Europe. And then Southampton, Leeds were relegated, as was Leicester City, who had just won the title. What, maybe six, seven years ago? The, the biggest long shots to win a title in, in, in Premier League history, I think. They were sadly relegated. And there is Jamal Musiala. Joga Bonito cards. I think this might be a short print. It looks almost has a lava pattern in the background as well. That's pretty sharp. That's going to go to Danny, Bayern uh, München, Bayern Munich. Jack, Joe, do you think chrome cards and prison cards will green over time like the finest cards, if not kept in a dark closet? Hmm. You know, I don't know enough about uh, card printing technology to really have a statement on that. There's Dino Zoff. I mean, it may just depend on on the uh, the manufacturer, the different year. For example, these cards are printed in Italy. Does that make a difference or not? Don't know. One twenty-two out of one ninety-nine. There's Rodrigo Ribeiro, rookie Aqua Lava for Sporting. We got some gold lava. That's Nicola uh, Zalowski. We got Usmani Dembele. 124 out of 150 for Barca. That'll be for John. Rafina to 399. And we've got a, a Garnacho right here for Man United. That'll be for Grant. Here's Simic as well for Salzburg, which will be part of the 17-team uh, group, Grant. We got Vinny Jr. to 250. Did I say Dino Zoff goes to David, by the way? Autograph? Vinny goes to Atletico, uh, no, not Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid. Eric for that one. back a little bit.
All right, next box. That was a scary moment. Ronald Acuna Jr. Looked like he was banged up a little bit. He stole his 40th base. Is that, is that what I heard? Dodgers game now that the big inning thing is over. Wow, Ronald Acuna Jr. has is hitting 335 on the season, 40 stolen bases, 21 home runs. Does Ronald Acuna Jr. have a 40-40 season? He's hit five home I feel like he was, wow. So he's had six home runs. We were saying he needs to catch up on home runs, right? He had six home runs in the last 15 games, right? Five of them just in the last seven games. He's hitting, in the last seven games, hitting four 35, five home runs, seven RBIs, five walks, only three strikeouts, and five stolen bases, 10 hits. Amazing. Who thinks Ronald Acuna has a 40-40 season? I mean, we're a little over the midway point now. He has 21 home runs. Tau to 399 for sporting. Gilo says I think he does it. This is for uh, Porto, which will also be for Grant. This is Mark Casado, 239 at 250. Antonio Silva for Benfica. Gilo, what about? Does he do, what about 50-50? Darwin Nunez to 150. The home runs are gonna be a challenge. I think he'll get the 50 stolen bases. And here's uh, Fatabu again, this time an autograph. For sporting, that's gonna be for Grant. There's a Christian Aslani. All right, isn't that crazy? Otani, first player to start the All-Star game as a pitcher and a DH. Julian Alvarez base for Man City for Rob. Fifty may be a stretch. I think it might be two, but I'd love to see it.
What was the purpose of making the bases bigger again? To encourage stolen bases. And I think there's some safety stuff too. I think maybe your foot's not on the bag on t you know and no one's going to step on your foot I guess And more so than generating runs, I think they just wanted to generate more, more action on the base path, which they had determined was, was something that television viewers and baseball goers, they wanted to see more often. There's Adeyemi to 399 for uh, Dortmund. It's going to go to Robert. Albin for Stadia Rene. That's for the 17 team combo, Grant. There's Karim Benzema to 250, Real Madrid. That'll be for Eric. Rex is curious, do you think stealing bases speeds up or slows down play? I don't know. And we got Wonder Kids autograph, Johan Bakayoko for Eindhoven. Rookie auto going to Grant. Eindhoven's part of that big 17-team uh, combo. That's a good deal, that spot. Nice. Gilo thinks it would, I think it'd slow down if it weren't for the pitch clock. All right, it is a lot for pitchers to handle this season. Pitch clock and people stealing more. You can only throw to a base twice. I guess if more people are trying to steal bases, that also might mean more people recording outs when they're caught stealing. So maybe the impact is negligible? I mean, stolen base doesn't really take up too much time, right? And then the, I guess, yeah, if, without a pitch clock, maybe after a stolen base, you know, the players reset, catcher jogs up to the mound, blah, 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 blah. They talk about it a little bit. But now you just have to get back there and get back on the mound again. I think that's the argument being made for especially some relief pitchers who are, who are um, some of like relief pitchers who are struggling are often the re relief pitches that may have been a little bit more deliberate in between pitches. You know, take a little extra time, get the right pitch, you know, blah, 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 blah. So there is, a, I, I don't know, they'll have to, have to run numbers on this, but I think that is sort of a anecdotal belief that the relief pitchers, or some of the relief pitchers struggling this year who tend to take a lot of time may not have as much success because they're used to just more time to collect themselves, gather themselves, and all that.
correct. You can only throw. So if there's a man, I think that's per runner. Or is it per batter? That's it. That I don't know. That's a good question, Rex. That I don't, I don't exactly know. But if there's a runner on first, you can only throw over twice, and you can't throw over again. I don't know what the penalty is if you do. A ball, maybe? That's true. The larger base does affect the catcher. Also, do I think? Well, yeah. I mean, now, now the Ricky Ricky Anderson stolen base record, I think, is uh, could be could be under fire. There's Matthias Soleil, rookie auto for Juventus, David. I mean, Estuary Ruiz has 42 stolen bases this year. He's 24 years old. If he manages to knock out, right? 80 stolen bases a year and is in the league for a little while. I wonder how he feels about that. It would upset you. Maybe. He might not be he might not be around by the time that stolen bases record is broken though. I mean, I suppose he was, he was, I suppose you could argue that he was also lucky that baseball trended the way it did sort of after the Ricky Henderson days, right? That it trended towards not stealing bases. If that trend never happened, then I don't know, that stolen bases record might've been broken by now. I guess it works kind of both ways. There's Daizen Maeda, 264 out of 399. Celtic. That will be for Grant and the combo group. There's Alfie Devine for Tottenham, 157 out of 175. It'll be for Tristan, Tottenham Hotspur. All right, another box. Looking at Ricky Anderson's 162 game average on baseballreference.com. So he averaged about 74 stolen bases every 162 games. So. I mean, someone's got to start sealing 70 bags a year starting now and then do that for 
I don't know, 25 seasons. And then you might catch up with Rick Henderson by then. Still, still a long ways away, but it's possible. Did they make home plate bigger also? No. Strike zone is still the same. But they did move second base back a little bit. So second base, if, you, if this was home plate and you're look, you're, this is a batter's eye view, right? They moved second base back a little bit. No, I don't like seeing the trainer running out there. Seismic. It is still 90 feet. I think it's actually now 90 feet. I think it was like 89 feet or something like that. I forget. I forget. I'll have to look this article back up. We've talked about this, but I've. The, the the reasoning has since gone over my head. There's Dembele again to 199 for Barcelona. I want to say that that when they're measuring the bases, right? I think they they started from here. And then they have the base right here or something like that, but it really should, the line should really be there and the base should be back there or something. And it's still 90 feet, but the, the line starts at a different spot. All right, because it's a big square, right? So what is it, 90 feet from the edges? 90 feet from center of the base to center of the base? I think that was the, That was the R. I don't know. You have a lot to look it up. Is it Eduardo Camavinga? Nice. 50 or a 60 out of 175. Real Madrid. Eric. And a nice Kaká autograph. Nice. Brazilian legend Kaká for AC Milan. 31 out of 50. I want to say Ted on the Instagram channel. Um, this goes to David B, by the way. I think Ted pulled one of these last night. And he is one of, I think, only nine players, ten players in the world that have won a World Cup a Champions League trophy and a Ballon d'Or. Let's see these rookie refractors, Copenhagen, Juventus. Next box.
All right, so, oh, it's closer, actually. <laughs> this was an article on CBS Sports on uh, March of 2022 regarding the experiment. I think they enacted it this season, but the latest experiment, experimental alteration according to Jason Sarkey of the Athletic, is moving second base slightly closer to home plate during the 2022 season. Sources tell The Athletic that in the second half of this season, baseball moving second base inward, so it would be closer to first and closer to first and third base by about 13.5 inches. The interesting thing about the move, says the CBS article, of the base, oh, there's an ad that popped up, now it moved the article, article down, about the moves that draws attention to the fact that the bases aren't exactly 90 feet apart. Second base is a bit off and has been for well over a century. The easiest way to grasp this probably is via the image courtesy of the MLB rule book. So I'll drop the link to the chat. You can take a look at it. The diamond here, follow the line around the actual base lines and just ignore the layout at part, shows each line segment on the base pass as exactly 90 feet. Notice that the line takes a 90 degree, 90 degree turn around both first and third base and home plate for that matter. But the turn at second base happens right in the middle of the base. So each 90 degree angle is 90 feet apart, which means the edges of the bases are all closer than 90 feet to each other. So I think my, my random sketch was kind of right, except they moved the bases closer. So I think they enacted that this year. I actually don't know if that happened this year. I think it did. I want to say the pitch timer, the larger bases, the shift change, the throwing to first change, and the second base moving slightly closer to first and second actually happened. Add all that together, all the all these stolen bases. And we got Nicholas Gonzalez for Fiorentina. 14 out of 50. Fiorentina, part of the 14 or the 17 team combo group. That Foden was not numbered, just making sure. Uh, Evan Ilson to 250 for Porto. It'll be for the 17 teamer. And your autograph is for Frankfurt. Ansgar Knopf. It's for Grant. Wow, and an Earl and Holland Aqua Wave, one seventy out of one ninety nine. That's awesome, Man City Rob. It's pretty good. Carvalho again to 75. And we've got a Sesco for Salzburg to 399. For uh, Grant and Fabio Carvalho going to Liverpool. 
Matthew. Liverpool. There's a Philip Cohn for Salzburg to 50 for Grant. Stadio Rene for Grant and the 17 team combo. Alejandro Garnacho, Golazzo, insert for Man United, also for Grant. Player. A Norwegian. I, I feel like he's one of the. Has there been. When's the last time a player that's been hyped that much has this much success from the get go? When uh, Who's the last player in the Premier League? Can anyone think of that? According to the Wikipedia, Erlen Holland, blah, 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 blah. Norwegian professional footballer, plays as a striker for Premier League club Man City and Norway national team. Considered one of the best players in the world, he's known for speed, strength, positioning, finishing inside the box. Holland holds the record for the most goals scored by a player in a single Premier League season with 36. That's pretty good. In just... Uh, 35 Premier League appearances, by the way. And Alan Shear must have had the previous record, right? I guess Andy Cole and Alan Shearer tied for 34 on Premier League goals, Golden Boot. I mean, by comparison, no one had 30 goals in a season since Mohamed Salah for Liverpool with 32 goals in 2017-18. By comparison, it's pretty crazy. Shoot volume. So think of it this way. So I mean, like the last five seasons, the uh, the most Premier League goals. You know, if you scored twenty three Premier League goals, that's a golden boot for you, right? So in twenty twenty two, well, here's a cool Neymar. Fifty eight out of ninety nine. I don't think I've seen this parallel. Red stripes. For PSG, that's for Aaron. So that's a, almost a from 23 to 35. That's a 56 percent increase, right? 
So if we went Mahomes touchdowns last year, touchdown passes from 41 to, let's say, that would be about from his 41 TDs to, to someone through 65 the next year or something like that. That's the comparison. Oh, color match. It's a, it's a color match parallel. It matches the parallel of the colors of the team. That's pretty cool. There's Rio Hatate to 175. Rico Lewis. Rob, Man City. This is for Celtic. That'll be for the 17 team combo. Ali do for Frankfurt. And oops, sorry, Max Simmons for Einhoven, Javi Simmons for Einhoven to 25. That's for the 17 team combo, that'll be for Grant. Messi will go to PSG for Aaron. I don't see any parallels yet of him. Cool to see some parallels. And there's uh, for Sporting, Rodrigo Ribeiro. And it's for Grant in that 17 team combo. Speaking of Messi, I realize now that he's in, uh, in the MLS, When's his first Major League Soccer card coming out? What set is that going to be in? How expensive will that be? How big will Messi cards be there? Back is jamming up a little bit here. There's Jota to 399. Celtic. Two boxes to go. Oh, B Chords in the uh, Twitch stream. How's it going? I, I don't know, Duncan, how big MLS cards are to begin with, but uh, but uh, they uh, they're gonna be big now. Oh, I tried the. I didn't bring the biofreeze today, which was a mistake. I know I need to get. In, got to get into a sauna. It'll work itself out. I'll sit in the hot bath tonight or something. Because he's such a marquee player, you think there'll be a billion of them floating around initially, or do you think Tops knows this and will purposely not and ma make make Lionel Messi a short print? We were reading that, that, that Lionel Messi, the deal that got done, with Lionel, maybe this is why it took three years for this deal to happen, is not only is he going to get a giant salary, he's going to get a piece of the shirt sales, he's going to get a, a piece of the team, ownership, equity in the team, and a piece of the, uh, the broadcasting Right, the aver the money made off of broadcasting and advertising. He's gonna get a cut of that from Apple. I mean, that's how that's how big Messi is. It's not big at all. It's like five, six, yeah. You scared me. I didn't. He, just, he snuck in here like a ninja. If there's one um, thing that I've been called in my life is sneaky, inconspicuous, subtle, you know. But uh. But when is when's the last time Apple has shared anything with anybody, right? And the fact that they were like, okay, I guess we'll share our M the MLS rights. We just paid a bunch of money to to do. We're, we'll we'll actually share it with Messi. Yeah, Apple's not so now I wouldn't be surprised if he's already talked to Tops. 
if he's already talked to Tops and said, "Hey, I need a I need a stake of every bo MLS box you sell." Beats by Dre. No, Apple bought Beats. Right? Pretty sure. It's not like it's not like they're, they're they That's were why like Beats Radio became Apple Music. Right. Well, it's, it's not like it's not like they were like, "Hey, let's let's give up a stake of." Well, they didn't have a headphone company. So they just bought one. So funny. You know, but this they're actually sharing. They're actually like, yeah, we'll give you a stake of it. Julian Alvarez. Wonder Kids Lava. It's pretty cool. Lava Parallel, one of, one of my favorite new parallels that they've come out with. I know there's some, some hype around it at the Work Slack channel, but you know what, what parallel I'm excited for? The Taco Parallel? The Taco Fractor. The give Taco me, Fractor? Give me the Taco Fractor. Have you guys fractor. heard about this? We've got some news. Can we break this news? No, it's on, it's on like the Beckett page. Oh, it's on the Beckett like pages too? Chrome in 2023, Chrome. Topps Chrome Baseball, they're revealing, look for rare variations in all new inserts such as radiating rookies, whatever, ultraviolet all-stars, who cares, and more. No one cares about that. But we do care about the Taco Fractor. I hope the new release day is on Tuesday. They move it up a day. Taco Tuesday! It's Kai Havers to 199. No taco fractures in Topps Chrome UEFA club competitions, not but this year. not this year. But maybe next year we'll see. We'll see taco fractures. Do they have a a preview image of it? They don't. No, I wish. Who knows what it's gonna be? You think it's just gonna be tiny little tacos? Like there's I so. in the background, I or is it a border? Will there be like mini taco emojis around the border? I think maybe that too. I think there's Who knows? Possibilities for the taco fractor. I don't know. We should have some sort of like, I'll talk to Nick, maybe we should have some sort of bounty. There's out of 10, Jamal Musiala, Joga Bonito. Those are short prints, yeah? Well, the, and, and out of 10. Oof. Even shorter. Oof. Only 10 of these in the world. Oh, I thought you were telling me to drop the card. No thanks. That's impossible for me to do. Danny with Bayern Munich. There you go, Danny. Nice. I don't know if I'd, if I'd want a game-worn taco, Tyler. I think it depends on the player. I don't know. Is Taco Bell in on this? God, I hope not. Del Taco, no. That's a oh, no, that, that's wrong. Del, Del Taco's trash. There's you Hugo Ikatike. 63 out of 99. Simply no. mistaken, Jeff. Of the fast food taco world, Taco Bell is the premier taco. I do not think All right, last box coming up. Although, if Del Taco wants to sponsor um, a group break, especially Topps Chrome Baseball, I, I will I will sell out in a heartbeat for that sweet sweet advertising dollar. Hi, I'm Joe from Jaspie's Case Breaks. After a long group break. What fills me up is Del Taco Tacos. Del Taco tagline. All right, what's their tagline? Hi, I'm Joe Jaspi from Jaspi's Group Breaks. After a long night of group breaking and pulling taco fractors out of 2023 Topps Chrome Baseball, the only, the only, my only post-break meal is Del Taco. Del Taco, 
Tagline. I should have like a, a little speech bubble right next to me right here. It says, thinking about Del Taco after this Topps Chrome UEFA club competitions break. Hey, last box of the break, ladies and gentlemen, sponsored by Del Taco. Yeah, we can do that. We should, we should sponsor. They should sponsor last box of the break. Hey, welcome to the last box of the break. Or they should definitely sponsor the recap that I'm about to do. People, people probably skip the entire video and just watch the recap anyway on a break of this length. We should, we should uh, sell ad, ad time for the recap. This Subway Be Fresh Refresh Recap brought to you by Subway. We got Jude Bellingham, Hobby Master. I think these are very short printed, maybe one per case. That's going to go to. That goes to Robert and Borussia Dortmund. Nice. One of the. Uh, probably what? Best one of the best midfielders in all of football right now. There's Kola Muani, twenty one out of fifty for Frankfurt. It's gonna go to Grant. The Tom's Chrome Base will be out on your birthday. Nice, Jen. The Taco Fractor will be out of five. Is this confirmed? And nice Robert Lewandowski. Gold autograph for Barca, Barcelona. That's going to go to John. Nice. Gold lava parallel, not numbered. What's a better chicken place, KFC or Popeyes? Neither. It's the uh, the grocery store fried chicken at like a Kroger or a Vons or a Ralph's. And we've got a red seismic Gabriel Martinelli. We got Hyun Min Son, 86 out of 150. Uh, I think he started his career in Germany. So, like, I think he. So, obviously, he's Korean. He speaks Korean, speaks German, like, somewhat fluently, and English pretty well, too. Uh, I need to learn multiple languages. Another Jude Bellingham. And then we've got Morita for Celtic to 225. Nope, for Sporting. I just looked at a green team. I said it was Celtic. That's not right, Joe. Come on. No, don't paint green teams into one bucket. All right, there you go, gang. That was your break. That 2022-23 Topps Chrome UEFA Club Competition Soccer 12-box picker team for... This recap brought to you by Del Taco. So after a long group break, where I go to next to refuel is Del Taco. There's the other Joga Benita card. Nice break. Really solid stuff. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Thanks for having fun with us. I appreciate it. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next soccer break. Bye-bye.